I play the saxophone. I love music, jazz music, listening to jazz. You know why I'm turning it down? I don't want people to give me greater consideration as a musician or a dancer. Um, if you end up being that kind of stereotype, for me it would be un unfortunate. Because first and foremost, I'm a scientist. Maybe I'm not to most people. I couldn't have taught mathematics and engineering science. I got interested in politics and discovered that if you want to make a mark politically, you actually create a signature for yourself. What I started with was I clenched my fist. I said, Kamata, Kamata. And people say, Kamata, do we? Kamata, Kamata. So it became my signature. Now, later on, I changed to um, the big shark. Zipapa is digo for a very big, powerful shark that eats all the other sharks. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, initially, I, I used to say, Zipapa, Zipapa, and people would respond. And I told them to respond that way. Lamka Nikuzecha. Lamka Nikuzecha is Giriyama for wake up, it is dawn. So at home, when you say, Zipapa, Zipapa, they answer back, Jembe la kazi kwale, Zipapa, Zipapa, Jembe la kazi kwale, because I'm going to clean kwale and I'll make kwale prosperous. In 2013, the people of kwale rejected you when you vied to be their senator. What makes you think that this time, they'll give you an opportunity to be their governor. Look, it will be landslide victory for me. And I never missed my words. I tell it as it is. It will be landslide victory for me. Jubilee has no place in Kwale County. Whatever they do, you can quote me. This is television. When it is all over, you'll shake my hand. Kwale people are fed up. You spoke about the Jubilee government and they said they don't have a chance in Kwale County. Yet the Ururoto government gave you a lifeline when they appointed you High Commissioner to Tanzania. But right now you're singing different tunes. What's the genesis of the fallout? We were not in the same party with President Uhuru. We have never been in the same party, by the way. At all. Never. I was the deputy party leader of URP. It was a misadventure. And I must admit, I regret every step that I took and got myself involved in, in that party. I did not join friends. When they won, they did not want to even talk to me. They, they didn't receive my phone calls. They did not consider me for any government appointment. They kept on giving me false promises. Two and a half years after they won the elections. It was not a favor to me. They appointed me as a result of uh, the request made by Kwale women. But if it was not a favor, why did you take up the job? And why is it that you really needed that appointment? Diplomatically, it would have been taken uh, differently if I'd refused to report for, to report in Dar es Salaam. I accepted, but to prove that we were not friends, six months later, the president released a list of the most corrupt people in Kenya. And you know my name was there? It was just created to embarrass me. That's why I said if individuals had the right to sue, even a sitting president, I would have done it. I don't know what scares them, but I can tell you I'm a patriot, I'm a very honest man, I'm very, very clean, and I don't stand any nonsense. And I say it as it should be said, because I have nothing to fear. Recently, the president, when he was campaigning in Lunga Lunga, Kwale County, he asked you to shut up or else they open your past file of a signing of mineral contracts. What's all that about? I'm even baffled. 
I don't know what he was talking about. I don't. And he says he's got some files, I don't know, records, documents. Let the president release them. There should be no secret. The point is, when it comes to the development of this country, um, head and shoulders way above both the president and deputy president put together in ideas and execution. We were in cabinet together. We know each other very well. They celebrate the standard gauge railway line. I created it created it from zero. The problem with them is they do not give credit to those who deserve credit. But he's disappointed that Best Titanium eventually did not get that land. I understand, well, the matter is still in court, but I can tell you they will never take my people's land away from them. No, they should forget, they should forget it. But I've never given land to anybody. I've never signed any leases. I was there for only 11 months and all the companies were already operating. But critics argue that you should be the last person to pretend that you care about the interests of your people in Kuali in regards to land and minerals. Because they say you've been there, you've served in several ministries, in several governments, but you've never helped them. There are many, many parcels of land in Kuali which were returned to the people when I was in government. Well, at least when I was the minister. Even land around Diani, around Charlie Island, that was my intervention. In fact, this government has managed land issues in the colonial manner. Even the certificates, the title deeds they're giving, these are title deeds that were lying in some offices. The only issued them out. They did not give people land as such. I wish they had taken some settlement schemes or land that whose leases expired, apportioned the people and then gave these people their land back. But just to get title deeds that are lying in some cartons in Nairobi and then you hand them over to the people and take that as a great input by the government is really, it amounts to a mockery. I want us to go back to politics a bit. When you came back and decided you vie for Kuala gubernatorial seat, at one point it was said you're an ODM. In a while you went to Wiper. What happened there? I've never joined ODM. But then it's a game of numbers and one has to be realistic and act smart. And I'm not the only one who's done that. <laughs> but there are many instances all over the country why you got to act smart? It's a game of numbers. I, I cannot, I cannot uh, sit back and uh, and uh, not recognize that big number, fifty-four thousand voters who are sympathizers or supporters of Wiper in Kwale County. And could your strained relationship with COD leader, Raila Odinga, be the reason you didn't join ODM? Our relationship is not bad at all. No, in fact, you see, people don't understand politics. You can, pick any, you can take any politician and you'll find down the memory lane a comment or two where even the best of friends disagreed. It's a question of a situation that is under consideration at that moment in time. That's all. After that, people are the best of friends. All of them, without mentioning anybody's name. Down the memory lane, they exchanged words and uh, um, comments that are not worth printing now. <laughs> but uh, that's the political game. And you just turned 72. What will you tell people who say, why should you vote for someone who's white-haired, idealist, and principled political museum artifact? I deliberately decide to leave my hair gray. But I tell anybody who makes such comments, of course not you, but those who are saying that, that they should pray that to the Almighty God, to allow them to reach the age that I've reached. 
and they'll be surprised that at this age you're full of wisdom, full of experience. But there are those ones who will argue and say, Kazi wa chia vijana. Kazi wa chia vijana at certain levels. When I was a lecturer of mathematics and engineering science, that was Kazi for me as a kijana. When I was a principal of some colleges here, yeah, that was Kazi for me as a kijana. When I was an ambassador, I'm pleased I left. Leave that one to Vijana. Preparing for the highest level. The governor could be taken as the highest level in the devolved government system. So when somebody says, who in Mzea say, hey, let's meet on stage, man, and see who does better than the other and longer. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens if Makwere doesn't win? I did not leave Dar es Salaam to come home and lose. No, I'm winning. And when I become governor of Kuala Kaut, and I shall be, inshallah, those who are corrupt should look for places to hide because we'll clean the place up.